Hi, uh, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to talk about some of the control structures. If you look here, I get the input from the user, some number. If it is equal to 1, I print Monday, 2, Tuesday, 3, Wednesday, and so on. If it is not in, in the range of 1 to 7, I print unknown day. This is a series of if, else if, else if, else if conditions. This works fine, not a problem. I execute, I give 6, it prints Friday, which is good for me. Now, uh, actually, I made a mistake over here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So what you have seen now, I was correcting it. This is called a logical problem. A syntax problem means if I miss something, for example, I miss this brace, I press F10, and then it's a syntax error. A syntax error meaning a grammar, grammatical problem in the language that we have done. Whereas, if I have given something like if equal to 9, this is not a syntax problem. Okay, I execute it, I give 9, it says Sunday. This is not a syntax problem. This is called a logical problem. I made a logical mistake in the program. Logical mistakes are the ones difficult to find. That's why you need a sound software testing team. So the logic of the program that you need to manually correct it by debugging it. Now we have got a series of if, else if, else if statement. This can be done in a better way using something called a switch case statement. Now you have switch within bracket that variable d, then you make this as a switch case statement. It's a very simple one. Switch case replaces instead of so many if then else conditions. All you need to do is case 1, the syntax is colon, then do the same thing. Okay. You can replace the same thing, but only thing is you need to have a break statement. For every case value, switch is nothing but it is doing an if-then-else condition. If the value of D, if the case is equal to 1, then do this. Break is important because if you don't give break, it will just go to the next uh, statement that is immediately falling below that. So you need to always have a case and then a break statement. So I just remove this uh, if-then-else statements. Now, the same thing can be constructed in this manner. Okay. Now, let me give only a few, not for all. Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. Now, I compile this. No problem. It executes. Now, I give 3. It is printing Wednesday. So, the effect of switch case is exactly the same of if else if, else if, else if. But here, in, uh, in an if, else if, you always have a last else. If the value is not one of 1, 2, 3, or 4, what should I do? That is where you need to have a default case at the end. Okay? How to do that? It's very simple. You just come over here, default, okay, printf, not known. Also give a break statement. Okay. Now let me compile it. I give five. It comes to that default portion. So you can simply associate each case is an else if statement. This default is the last else statement in a if else if situation. Imagine I have not given this break. By mistake, I forgot to give the break over here. Let me give the input as 2, see what happens. I'm going to now execute once again. I give 1, it prints Monday, no problem. Because it comes over here, it prints this. Whenever it, exec it executes, first it comes here, it executes this statement, gets the input from user. Then it comes over here, it executes, it, it is finding this 1, it prints here, there's a break statement. When it sees the break statement, the control goes out of this block. A block is nothing but between these two curly braces, a set of statements. It comes out of the block, then it comes over here. In one, 
case 1 I have given a break so it executed this one line came out now in case 2 I have not given the break see what happens I execute once again I give 2 it prints 2 TUE and WED the reason is I have not given a break statement over here so it executed this statement it came to the next line and then it started executing there it saw a break came out so always in switch case make sure you give a break statement otherwise it will fall through you will end up into some problems okay this is uh, another control structure to replace if else if else if else kind of a uh, programming structure now there is one more thing I remove this I want to see whether this number is between 2 say between 10 and 100 how do I find it out two ways if uh, D is greater than or equal to 10 then I can have one more if condition underneath that if D less than or equal to 100 right then printf uh, D is between 10 and 100 okay this is good enough then I can have another else, else condition over here another else condition over here not a problem now let me execute it so I have two conditions if this is there I want the number to be between 10 and 100 both inclusive then I do this condition then I do this condition also F10 let me give number 56 yes 56 is between 10 and 100 no problem so this condition was true so control came here it, this condition was true so the control came here but this is too long a statement so how I can write this is very simple instead of having two if conditions if you want all of them to be executed together this is called and okay this is called a logical and a and D for this whole condition to be true I, I enclose these two in brackets this must be true this should also be true only when these two conditions are true this statement will get executed otherwise else printf not in range okay so it's a very simple program let me execute I give 56 yes it is between 10 and 100 effect is same instead of having two if conditions I just had one and condition now let me execute this I give 8 it is not in range because this initially it executed this condition D is not greater than or equal to 10 so immediately it came here in an and condition if one fails it immediately comes out of that and then goes to the else portion okay now I want to have one more condition like this this is called logical and condition suppose I give like this two pipeline symbols two ampersand symbols is equal to and a and D two pipeline symbols is R this is an R condition this R condition I'm giving if D is greater than 10 or D is less than or equal to 100 so e if this is true it will come over here or if this is true it will come over here so now I am going to give something like this uh, less than or equal to say 20 okay in this case uh, okay let me give less than or equal to let me give a slightly tweak this situation D is greater than or equal to 100 these less than or equal to 20 okay if any of them is true then it will come over here okay in my range watch out here now I execute this I give a number 15 it is in my range I gave a number 15 15 is not greater than or equal to 100 this has become false but this condition was true 15 was less than or equal to 20 so it came over here okay 
Now, if I am going to give another number so that this becomes true, let me give 101, it is still in my range. 101 is greater than 100, so this condition is true and this condition is false. In, an, in a logical R, if any one condition is true, it will execute this part. The whole condition evaluates to true. How can I make the code come over here? If I give some number so that the number is not less than or equal to 20, the number is not greater than or equal to 100. So which one I can give? Suppose I give F9 21, not in range. So if I give 21, 21 is not greater than 100, so that is false. 21 is not less than or equal to 20, that's also false, so it comes over here. So you have the 2 ampersand is AND, 2 pipeline symbols are, we have already seen NOT, this is called NOT. So if you say NOT equal to, right, so the, this is used for NOT symbol, this exclamation mark. These are all called logical operators. In this session, we have learnt the switch case and the break statement, then how to use compound conditions with logical operators and, uh, or and not. Thank you.